It's the fireworks season and this game produced explosive stuff of its own. Three minutes in and Dundee went a goal up. Airdrie keeper John Martin made a hash of that clearance. Midweek hero McCann's cross and Martin Veekhorst knocked in the opening goal. So, could Airdrie get back into it? The answer to that was yes. Smith's lob was rattled against the post by Davis. Harvey knocked it in again and Sweeney's knockdown was touched in by Duffield. Airdrie back on level terms. Martin Vickhorst is good in the ground for Dundee, good too in the air. His height causing problems for Airdrie here. The Dundee fans though incensed that no corner was awarded. Then Black's free kick took a deflection off Berto, no corner given again. And now temper is beginning to get frayed. But in the second half, things really did boil over. Dundee's Farnham closed in on Martin, who cleared up field. Now, as the ball's headed back, Farnham's still running back himself. Adria appealed, but George Shaw was away. He gave it to Vighorst, and Dundee were 2-1 up. Bedlam at Broadwood. And in spite of heated appeals, the goal stood. In replay, you see Virto's header. It's touched on by Beekhorst. Adria appealed. Farnham's running back there, but Shaw headed for Martin. And the dust had hardly settled when Sanderson's headed clearance was returned by Beekhorst. Adria claimed it left Jerry Britton in an offside position, but play raged on. Substitute Jim Hamilton nipped in to score. 3-1, and the roof really came in now. Airdrie boss Alex McDonald was incensed that referee Smith had allowed it all to happen again. The replay shows Hamilton setting off on the chase, Britton clearly behind the Airdrie defence but showing no attempt to play the ball, but Dundee had promptly gone 3-1 up. The blood amongst the home support boiling now, Duffield got Airdrie one back, but 3-2 it finished, and then the managers had their say.